Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Torian. I haven't created a YouTube video in so long. Like, it literally has been forever. I don't know. It's something about when you take a long time from making videos and then you get back to making videos. It feels so weird because you can't snap back into that content creator instinct. When I wasn't recording, I wasn't really going through anything. I just wanted to take a break from social media at first. And then I was like, you know what? Let me delete Instagram and let me delete Snapchat. Let me delete... You know, all of my social medias, except for TikTok, because everybody's on TikTok. So I have to be entertained some kind of way. I had took three months off from working, and that was the best time of my life. It felt like I was so free. I just had free will to do anything. It was fun while it lasted, but now it's time to get back to work. I did record a few videos. I just never posted them because I didn't really feel confident. I've been trying to work on working out more, like going to the gym and trying to eat more healthy. It's just, I always gotta have some kind of bad food. Like I'm always gonna want a burger. <laughs> so I've been trying to balance my meal. But what I'm saying is it's just like, I had gained like a lot of weight and now I'm losing it again. I just came back from a fast from two days ago. I was going to vlog. I didn't feel like it cause I didn't have any energy. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to try to vlog on Saturday. I go to work on Sunday. So I wanted to get it done today. Today is actually a very important day as well. Today is my mom's birthday. I already had a plan to buy her some stuff. I don't even know how old she's turning. I feel like that's so wrong. But I know when her birthday is. I just don't know the year. Mom always wanted to start a designer bag collection. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to buy her a bag every birthday year. But unfortunately, this year came and she was like, she don't want any kind of designer. So my mom's favorite flower is sunflowers. I don't know why her favorite flower is sunflowers. I feel like sunflowers are so plain. But, you know, the lady liked what she liked. So I went to the store and I bought her some sunflowers. These are the flowers. And now that I actually look at them, they actually look okay. Like, they look good. <laughs> but I actually like them. Like, I didn't know that they had orange sunflowers, or did they dye those? Because I've literally only seen yellow sunflowers. I went and I bought her some flowers, and then I bought her a cake as well. She didn't want any designer. I'm still going to get her something, because, you know, why not? I woke up really early this morning, and I went to Publix to get the cake, and then I had got the flowers afterwards. But after I got the flowers, then I had came home, and I surprised her. I didn't want to put that part inside of my vlog, because some things I do want to keep private. Privacy is another reason why I took a break from social media. Everyone is getting online and showing all of their personal information. They're showing that what kind of car they drive, what kind of house they have, what neighborhood they stay in. And I just feel like that's so federal. Like, why are you showing us all of this? Like, some stuff you have to keep private. Social media is so unrealistic now because you have 13-year-olds buying houses, 10-year-old millionaires from YouTube and TikTok. And I'm not jealous or anything. Like, I really salute those people. It's just that it's so unrealistic realistic you have people who are literally in a crisis because they don't know what they want to do with their lives not me i know what i want to do with my life it just when i start seeing like too many unrealistic things on the internet i gotta take a break because no i just take a break from social media just so i can focus on what i can get done and what i can do for myself to make myself better I don't really care what happens in anyone else's life, but I'm not going to compare my life to you, especially people on the internet. We all reach success in different ways, and it's going to take us different paths to get to our success. I feel like I really need to change the subject because I don't really want to get into all the details of that. Today is supposed to be like a chill day or whatnot since it's my mom's birthday because my mom don't really celebrate her birthday. She just throw like a little kit back at the house. But this year, she said instead of doing it on her birthday, she's going to do it on Sunday, I think. Yeah, she's going to do it on Sunday. She left to get her makeup done and her nails done. I'm not going to be putting her on camera because she don't like to be put on camera. So I can't even show y'all what she's going to look like. She said she want to get her tattoo done today because I have to work tomorrow. And I told her that I would pay for her tattoo. For me to make up a gift for her. I want to get a tattoo to go on her shoulder to finish her sleeve. I believe my mom has a whole sleeve already and like I'm literally 22 and I only have two tattoos. Like I'm supposed to be tattooed. But unfortunately I don't want to get a lot of tattoos because I do want to have a modeling career. I don't think they want you to have a lot of tattoos so I don't want to risk anything just yet. This part of the video is supposed to be a get ready with me and I feel like I have talked more than half of the video so let me go ahead and start with my skincare routine. So if y'all want to know one of the main things that I use on my face, I'll be using these wipes.
Money just changed everything. I wonder how life without it would go. From the concrete, who knew that a flower would grow? Looking down from the top and it's crowded below. My fit I'm sorry y'all, my camera went dead, but I just put sunscreen on my neck and on my face. I tried to fix my hair while the camera was charging, but I feel like it's not going to get any better than this. I feel like it's not old enough yet. I did my hair a few days ago. And I didn't like these finger coil things. I kind of came up with this hairstyle on my own. So instead of doing finger coils all the way to the root, I just do it at the end of my hair so it can make it look really big. So it can make it look more bushy. But I just feel like this side isn't cooperating. The back of my head looks crazy. Y'all want to see how it looks? How long you been doing hair? Um, for like three. Since we don't know what time we're going to be going to get her tattoo, I wanted to show y'all some of the things that I bought. A lot of people know that was here before, know that I had a fashion channel. I would do like clothing hauls or how do I style these items. I haven't did that in a very long time. But I want to start back into getting into clothing hauls. So I'm going to be showing y'all some of the things that I bought. So I'll see y'all when I get in the other room. We have finally made it into the other room. Let's get into this clothing haul. A lot of y'all, before we get started, I did buy an excessive amount of things. I probably spent like over 1K in like a week. But we're not going to get into that conversation. I'm not rich and I don't have a lot of money. I don't know where this money came from, but it needs to come back ASAP. First thing I'm going to be showing is accessories. And I got these Versace sunglasses. They're like prescription glasses. I bought them myself and then I got them prescribed. These are the glasses. They have like this gold tone. I don't wear gold jewelry because I don't like how it makes me look. But since I'm getting older and I'm trying to accessorize my outfits more, I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and try gold. So I'm going to be getting a gold chain to go with these after I get them fixed. Because the eye clinic that I took them to, they did not do a good job. So let me tell y'all what happened before I show y'all the other thing. $300 for the frames, right? Put them to the eye doctor. It didn't even, like I never opened them. I never really even put them on. I just looked at them while they were in a box and then I took them up there to get prescription put in them. So I didn't even, they didn't even get to rock them outside before I even put medicine in them. It was a, a black lady and then a white woman. They both were really nice, extremely nice. It was new people from when I went last time because I did get two pair of glasses there from the beginning because they had a sale going on and you get two glasses for a hundred dollars and you get a free eye exam so that's how i knew of the place and the place is called i lab i don't care about airing anyone's business out especially when you do your customers wrong they told me it was going to be expensive but i already had in mind that i want to spend like 180 to 200 dollars so i know it was going to be expensive since i don't have insurance that's when i didn't have insurance but now i do but she told me even if i had insurance it wasn't going to cover the glasses getting medicine in them everything um got done i got done with the eye exam y'all they left me in the room and no one ever came the instructor told me to wait for someone to come and get me so I can go on with the next step of getting the medicine in my glasses. Never got me. So I got my bag and I left out of the room because I'm not trying to sit here and I have things to do. Like, you are on my time. I'm not on your time. We get to the counter and she's running up the bill and I'm like, okay, so like how much is it? Because they're not telling me no price. They haven't telling me no starting price. She told me that it was like since I bring my own glasses, it was gonna cover the free eye exam, but it was gonna be expensive for the glasses. Y'all tell me why it came up to five hundred and ninety five dollars. And I'm like, that's not right. If I bring my own glasses and it covered the eye exam, why is it five hundred and ninety five dollars? I'm like, no, it gotta be some other stuff that's on there. It's like, okay, I can take off the insurance. Yes, do that. Why nobody told you that I wanted insurance to ask me if I want insurance. So then she took off that and then she took off some other things and then she claimed that she gave me a 50% complimentary discount and it knocked it down to $313, which was still pretty expensive since I have my own glasses. I didn't need all of the other things. I wanted very basic. I just want to see. That's all I want to do. I just want to see. The total price ended up coming down to two ninety three. Still, still kind of expensive out of the way, but you know what? I really need to see because I still got my old glasses and I really need a new prescription. And it's been about three years, and you're supposed to change it after two years. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and pay for it. It takes two weeks for them to send the glasses to a lab for them to put the medicine in. Then they're gonna text me or call me to come. Get so I go and get the glasses right. They didn't notice anything at first when I put them on. They look nice, but I'm like, okay. 
I don't really like how it's looking, like why it feels so weird. So I asked her, I was like, is it blue lighting in my glasses? And she says, oh, let me look it up for you. She, she never looked it up. She just telling me, oh, you're good to go. I'm like, are you gonna tell me if it's blue lighting in the glass? She goes and said, oh yeah, it is. And I'm like, I could have sworn I told her I didn't want all the extra shit in my glasses. Why would you still put it in there? That's why it was still expensive. I told you I did not want all of that. I, I just need to see at home. And I'm looking at the glasses because, you know, it's still something off about them. Like, I, like, I don't like how they make my eyes feel. I guess it's the blue lighting or whatever, but I don't like that. That's why I did not ask for it. I told her I want basic, just simple medicine. That's it. I don't need all of the other things. Looking at the glasses right, the right side of the glasses are the same as the left. I'm not going to be able to see it on camera. There's a burn mark from here to here. The glasses that never have been opened, never have been worn. That's the literally brand new. So I'm like, that couldn't have been there before because when I looked at them, when I got them, it didn't have that right there. I thought it was like made into the glasses, but it's not. I caught immediately because I wasn't going to wait till tomorrow. I could have waited till tomorrow because I was um off the next day, but I was like, no, we're going to get this situated. They set me up another appointment to come in to see what they can do about it. Stuff in the glasses. I'm like, why did you still put the in the glasses? She was like, Oh, that's what it came with. No, it didn't, you dumbass. It was literally a list that she can click and take off things and put on there. Why would you still leave it on there after I told you I didn't need it? And so she's like, oh yeah, you signed a contract. And when you sign the contract, it's out of my hands. I can't do anything else. I said, no, they literally just told me that I have 30 days to return the glasses if there's any problems. Like, oh, there's nothing I can do. I said, oh no, I paid $300 for these glasses. You're gonna have to figure something out because there's no way I just came in here and I just spent my money with you and you telling me you can't help me. So she's like, oh, I can help you. She's going to type on her computer and while she's typing on her computer, she's like, oh, okay, I can't help you out. She's like, um, I can take some money off of the glasses for you. Do y'all want to guess how much she said she's going to take off? It's a joke. I got $15. The next thing I got is a Belova piece. I got this for my 23rd birthday. If you don't know, my birthday is October 18th. Y'all don't have to give me a gift. Y'all can just subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. I'm trying to get to a goal and y'all can really help me out if y'all subscribe to my YouTube channel. The watch. I don't know if the camera is focused on it because y'all know I'm blind. Like everything about it. I've been wanting this watch for about two years and I never got it. I was supposed to get it for my 21st birthday but I was like, you know, I was like, you know what? I'm so glad that I got it. Because I was second guessing myself. Yes, this watch was expensive. So that's how the watch looks on my wrist. It's really shiny, really flashy, or whatever. It's actually wore it today. Well, just morning when I went to go pick up my mom's cake and fly. Um, it's a diesel bag, and I got it for a sale. This bag is worth like $300. I got it for 100 So I got it I got it for a good steal. Another thing that I got is this cross bag. I don't know if y'all can see it because it's like black and then like my robe is black. But I got this like a few months ago. Another thing that I got is this misbehave shirt. And everything still has the tags. Like I haven't really worn any of this stuff yet because it was supposed to be for a trip that I was supposed to be going on this week. But we're not going anymore. Now I just have a bunch of clothes. Which is a win-win because I don't really have a lot of selections to choose from. I'm more of a shoe kind of person. I don't really care about the outfits. As long as I got shoes, I can put anything with the fit. What I always tell people is, if you like something, get it in another color. <laughs> so I got the green one as well because everyone knows that my favorite color is green and black or whatever. But this one is different from that shirt because this one is on the chest. And y'all know I just started wearing jewelry and like chains and watches. And so now I can just show off the bling bling or whatever. And like, I really like this color. The only thing I didn't like about it is this shirt fits smaller than that other shirt. I don't know why. And they're the same size. During my fasting break, I lost a, a couple pounds. So now I can fit in it like all the way. I'm still losing weight. So I should be able to fit into it like really well soon. It fits now, but like I'm going to be smaller than what I'm actually am. And I'm going to be able to like, you know, I'm going to be able to fill out the shirt. This jacket is like a must. Like, like if it's still in stock, y'all need to go get it. Like, um, I never seen myself wearing brown before. So I was like, you know what? I should just get it. I want to wear this brown jacket with like a bag that I purchased a little over a year ago. I want to pair this bag with it. I know I can't carry this around, but I just feel like it will really be nice for a picture. They don't match all the way, but they do kind of match. I put this fit together. It's going to look really nice. 
Another thing that I got is this black and white shirt. I do not see myself wearing white. And I felt like I needed to like step out of my comfort zone with always wearing black. And let me try a different color. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna do white. And I really like this shirt. I got this shirt from Boohoo Man. Most of this stuff I got it from Boohoo Man. Other half is like um, Essence and Satire. Those three places are where I mainly shop from if you wanna know where I shop from. Or if y'all wanna ask me where to get something from, I can tell y'all where I got it. I don't gatekeep. The thing I got is this pajama set. And I mainly got it for when I go out of town so I can have something to slip on and just walk around in. Cause I like to be comfortable. Okay, so another thing I got is my birthday outfit. I wasn't gonna show y'all this, but I feel like it doesn't matter because like, I'm gonna wear it regardless. I bought three outfits to wear my birthday and the other two haven't arrived yet. And I got a lot of more things that are coming in the mail that I can't show y'all yet, obviously. But when they get here, I'm gonna show y'all on camera. It's like this jacket. It's green, as y'all can tell. And it's it's one of my favorite colors of green. These pants, they are like the same pattern. I don't know, but for some reason, I haven't really been wearing skinny jeans. I've been wearing more of flare jeans. Hey y'all, that was all of my clothing haul. You know, I do think I have some more items. I just don't know where they at. I think what I'm going to do in the meantime is just edit the first half of this video so I can get it all together. I can be able to post it on time. And then I have to help my mom look for someone to do her tattoo because she don't know where she going. And I feel like she should have been looking at this because she already knew three months before her birthday that she was getting a tattoo. So why would you not be looking into this? Like that lady is crazy. I'm sorry that this video wasn't long like y'all thought it was going to be because a lot of people have been asking me why I haven't been doing vlogs. I haven't been promoting this channel as well either. I only got like 15 subscribers I think. I do want to be a successful YouTuber one day. I don't know if I want it to be from one year from now or if I want it to be two years from now. I know that is a priority. I am starting college this month in like a few weeks so I'm going to be doing college content as well. Just so I can share my experience and what I go through while I'm in school. I'm pretty sure other people that are my age and younger would want to experience or see how it goes. Your YouTube channel isn't supposed to be perfect all the time. It's supposed to be real and uncut and just you. But y'all know I have to be perfect all the time. And that's probably going to mess me up in the long run. But who says I can't be perfect all the time? But I'm about to go handle business. So I'll talk to y'all later. Pardon me, I've been still acting poor. Pardon me, I've been acting a little poor. Pardon me, I've been still acting poor.